Mastering is the final stage of production in any audio project, whether post-production or music, and it's a critical part of the production process. The last chance to correct any small flaws in a finished music mix and to add that extra little sheen that can help present the music at its best and help a song to stand out at first listen. In the early days of analog audio, mastering was primarily a technical specialty performed by dedicated mastering engineers on specialized equipment to optimize a recording for vinyl disc, then the primary medium for audio and music distribution. But gradually, it evolved into a production stage for any type of media, where the main goals are to troubleshoot any potential technical problems and to optimize the quality and sonic character of the mix or production. Now, when audio production moved inside the box, plugins took on the task of providing those specialized mastering tools. Initially available as expensive, dedicated third-party suites, eventually mastering tools began to be included with TAWs, as mastering was more and more often taken on by traditional recording and mixing engineers, as well as by solo studio operators who needed to keep the entire production process in-house. Logic has always included one of the most comprehensive collections of plugins, and mastering processing is no exception to this. Logic's built-in plugins cover virtually all the activities necessary for professional mastering, requiring only a little knowledge and experience to get top-notch results. That's where this course comes in. After a brief look at the history and evolution of mastering, I'll go through all of Logic's included mastering tools, their features and controls, as well as their use in mastering applications. These tools include a selection of EQs. Logic offers the general purpose channel EQ, available not only as a standard minimum phase design, but also in a linear phase implementation, specifically geared toward providing potentially more transparent EQ for subtle mastering applications. And the Vintage EQ collection, Console EQ, Graphic EQ, and Tube EQ, emulate the response and character of three famous analog hardware EQs, some of which have always been especially popular as mastering EQs. Logic is chock full of Dynamics processors available for mastering tasks. The Workhorse Compressor plugin offers traditional clean digital dynamic control, including extra settings that can be used to optimize the response for full mixes and different projects. But it also features six emulations of classic vintage analog compressor designs. As with the vintage EQs, the character and response of these models can be just a thing when a little extra analog character may be called for. In addition to the versatile compressor plugin, Logic also includes a multiband compressor, a multipressor. Multiband compression is a powerful tool and is especially popular for mastering applications. By applying compression independently to the different bands, a multiband compressor can provide greater control over elements of a complex audio file. This is perfect for mastering, where the audio file is usually a mix with many instruments and voices. Limiting is a key aspect of mastering, and Logic again has several options. The standard limiter plugin offers a choice of traditional soft limiting and more precise hard limiting, with user settings to fine tune the response, all the way down to the amount of look ahead used. For the final stage, in which brick wall limiting is used to protect against potential digital overloads and as a loudness maximizing tool, the adaptive limiter, or the ad limiter for short, provides the necessary transparent brick wall limiting for that important step in the mastering process. In relation to that final step, trends for overall level in the modern audio industry are in a period of flux. For years, mastering limiters have been used to maximize the loudness of mixes in an attempt to make them stand out on the radio or in a playlist. This practice is still prevalent, but a new trend toward loudness normalizing has resulted in many productions, both post-production and music, being mastered at lower average levels, allowing for greater headroom and punchier, more dynamic masters. The course will touch on this briefly, providing information about new trends in mastering levels for both broadcast and music streaming that everyone who takes on a mastering project, from beginner to expert, needs to be familiar with. To keep tabs on level, as well as other important technical aspects of mastering, Logic includes a comprehensive collection of meters. There are spectrum analyzers for visualizing frequency response issues, and dedicated metering plugins display other information. The goniometer and correlation meter show phase to help warn of and avoid any subtle flaws in the finished master, and Logic's level and loudness meters have been updated to include the latest scales needed to conform to the newest level standards, both mandatory and recommended, for broadcast and post-production and streaming music. Logic's dual mono plug-in mode is available for all stereo plugins, allowing independent processing on the left and right. 
It can also be operated in MS mode. MS, or mid-side processing, is a specialized technique that goes all the way back to mastering's early functions in preparing and optimizing audio for vinyl disc. But for a long time, it's also been popular in mastering as a method to dig into a finished stereo mix and exert a little more control over some of the particular aspects and elements of the mix. I'll cover the implementation and some useful applications of Logic's dual mono MS mode. And finally, the course will present a run-through of a typical mastering session for an overall look at the process and Logic's tools in action. But before I jump right into Logic's mastering tools, I'll take a quick look at the evolution of mastering and provide a brief overview of the basics in the next video.